What if I told you sisters that I made over 150 meals in just two days? Yes, I am the extreme meal prepper. This is what I call myself. Assalamu alaikum sisters. How are you guys doing? I hope you all are well and good. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, I wanted to show you guys my extreme meal prepping um, routine and how I make so many meals for me and my children and most times when I cook it lasts me for like two to three months alhamdulillah so as I previously mentioned in my previous video I make sure I plan every single thing so if you haven't seen that video please go and check it out so I want to teach you guys or tell you guys you know how meal prepping can really really save time can make things easier for you i believe meal prepping is for everybody myself i'm west african so most of the meals that i make are west african foods you know you could be from any part of the world and you can meal prep and the reason why i want every single one to meal prep especially single mothers is because it just makes life so much easier meal prepping is literally a life changer let me take you step by step through this process so you can do the same inshallah so firstly, I always start with washing my chicken. I usually buy a box of chicken, which is about 10 kg. So I wash it thoroughly with vinegar and lime just so that it cleans the chicken. Like I always say to myself, like African and Caribbean people, yeah, we don't eat chicken for the nutritional benefits. We just eat it because it tastes good. Because the way we wash it, yeah, by the time we finish washing it, literally all the benefits is you know off of it but anyways so i season my chicken and then i leave it at the side so i leave it at the side for some time to marinate and then after i wash my meat and then i season that as well but the meat that i bought this time i bought it to make soya so i just seasoned it lightly and then i put them in the packet to put it in the freezer because i don't cook that i cook that on the day because all you need to do is just put it in the air fryer and it's good alhamdulillah so that's the first stage that i usually do so once i've sorted out all the meat and everything i clean the workspace and then i get ready to like chop up my vegetables my onions and everything else so at this point here i had to treat my inner child this fanta right here was my favorite when i was a kid it was just so amazing alhamdulillah but anyways back to cooking so this is okra i usually blend my okra i don't like it coarse so i blend it and i cook it separately i know everybody cook things differently especially like west africans but alhamdulillah anyway we also eat cassava leaves if you know cassava we eat the leaves so this is what cassava leaves is so i had to prepare all of that first wash it and everything you have to wash your cassava leaves otherwise there's sand in it then i cooked it this is how it looks like cooking so we cook um with palm oil a lot personally i do like palm oil i do i know it has a lot of cholesterol etc but this is one of west african's favorite oil we use this a lot and now you might want to know how do i cook so many meals in two days so what i have alhamdulillah i have invested in you know those would call it um those hot pots hot stove i think that's what you call it so i have like three so i have like three meals going on at once alhamdulillah it just so happened that my cooker is not working so i just invested in these ones and it works perfectly so i make different types of meals like what you can see right here is spaghetti bolognese please italians don't come for me i do my own little remix i actually make my own sauce like my children don't like the store bought sauce and personally i don't like it as well so right here is um, chicken stew my children really love it and I, I never used to make my chicken stew like this but I watched my auntie make it one day because I really love the way she makes hers and alhamdulillah it's kind of close to hers anyway it tastes kind of the same and right here is black eye beans I cooked black eye beans as well with this you can eat it with rice bread cassava like it goes with absolutely everything you can even eat it by itself and here I tried to make I know I'm gonna say it wrong mara maragi 
I say Maragi, but the sister who I learned this from, right? She's Tanzanian, al Barik, And my daughter loves this as well. So one day she, we, we went to visit her and then she was like, oh, we made Maragi at home. We made Maragi. And then her little daughter, who's my daughter's friend, it's not Maragi, it's Maragi. I'm like, I don't even know at this point, but we love it so much. So I made a lot of it. And so me and my children, once a week, we love to have takeaway. My children love chicken and chips. They love kebab and things like that. So I had to find a cheaper way for for us because you know it can be expensive gone were the days where two piece chicken and chips was just two pounds now it's not that much you know and there is four of us so I decided to start buying it wholesale like in bulk there's a food shop that I go to call JJ food store and they have it in bulk basically so I buy it and then I basically separate them and put them in in bags and just basically ready for us to eat so all I usually do is just take a packet out and fry it and it's good to go and we've been able to save money this way and what I did this time I decided to basically get sweet potato chips instead of the normal chips the children do like it but if sweet potato chips is a lot more expensive than regular chips but it's okay you know alhamdulillah so at this point, I have like three meals going and I'm ready to put our takeaway meals in the freezer. So I had to clean the freezer. So I have a big freezer, sisters. Yes, I do. It's such a great investment. Seriously, like this one you're looking at, I don't know how many liters it is. I don't know. Maybe I should check. But it's amazing. Like you can store absolutely everything in here. So Alhamdulillah, got my freezer ready and everything. And this box right here is where I usually put like my meat produce, like the food are not ready yet like the raw meat raw, raw chicken and things like that and it's just there I just don't like it being you know mixed up with the food that are you know ready to eat basically so this is just chicken breast <laughs> just chicken breast and my children love it with uh wraps and things like that and this one I invented it we don't make this in Sierra Leone I just had some extra chickpeas and I didn't know what to do with it I'm like hey let me make some sauce with it let me make chickpeas and chicken or something we're gonna eat this with rice or cassava or potatoes or something like that and it tasted so nice as well alhamdulillah and then my favorite of all this this one right here that you're looking at this is peanut butter soup oh this was the the best it tasted so good and it looked good and you see me my best cuisine after Sierra Leonean food is South Asian food don't you guys think it looks a little bit like butter chicken like it just looks so much like butter chicken it reminds me of butter chicken but I love that so much and this one is um palm oil stew so it's kind of like the same with the normal stew that you saw before but this one I added beef into it as well so beef and chicken like one thing you must know about West African cuisine is that we add beef chicken fish this that into our meals personally i don't cook like that but like africans we west africans we cook like that we add different different they call it creatures add different creatures in the food though so we can enjoy it i don't do that i just don't like it you know but i do enjoy it when other people cook it though so yeah baked beans my children are obsessed with baked beans so i made a pot full of baked beans what do you mean so these baked beans was for bread potatoes to be eaten like that like literally my kids just come to me mommy can i have some baked beans and i give it to them like that in a bowl and they eat it so yeah i had lots and lots of baked beans as well all ready to go you know and um I season mine, so I just add a little bit of onions, sweet peppers, a bit of garlic, ginger, and of course, like some seasoning cubes. So yes, thereafter, I had to make my snacks. So when it came to the snacks, I did have a list of things that I wanted to make, but I wasn't able to make all of them. But one of the things that my children really love is puff puff we call it rice akara in Sierra Leone and we usually eat it with a sauce like the sauce is either just made with onions and tomatoes and obviously some seasoning and it's so lovely the kids really really like it so I made the sauce with that as well and then I made Sierra Leonean donuts yes it looks so different Sierra Leonean donut it looks different and um this one that I made didn't really come out nicely. It was a little bit too sweet and the children don't really like like it when I make it sweet. But yeah, I'm not going to waste it. So we're still going to eat it. So I was able to put everything in a packet and um, 
that was our snack. So when do I really serve this to the children? Usually is, sometimes I can eat it before lunch. Like I just give them the packet, warm it up in the air fryer and they're able to eat it. Because I know a lot of people might be wondering, how do you meal prep? puff puff and you know all of these african snacks put it in the freezer and when you're done when you're ready to eat it defrost it put it in the air fryer it's yes sisters i also made my own pepper sauce what's a meal without chili sauce seriously <laughs> my children don't really like chili sauce at all so i had to make my own special because my meals taste much much better with pepper sauce you know so alhamdulillah made my own pepper sauce and i was happy so i also meal prep some omelet i know you might be thinking sis you can make that the same day i can i can but you see because i'm so obsessed with meal prepping whatever i can meal prep i will meal prep you know so it works out really good anyway and with the omelet i usually add like different vegetables into it and the children love it no matter what vegetable i add to it they will eat it because it's always nicely seasoned and you know just so yummy alhamdulillah so i just put it in the freezer like that and then when i'm ready for it i just basically reheat it up again and then it is just like you just made it today like fresh you know i also meal prep cornmeal yes not gonna lie this was the first time i did it and it worked out really fine i made the cornmeal really really thick and you know when i was ready to give it to the children i just warmed it up again with some extra milk and it was fine and for the first time ever i made something called omni corn i know i'm saying it wrong but it was so good it's like a caribbean porridge you know then it was time to slowly slowly start stacking the things away and writing down the labels and everything and putting things in the freezer so as you can see what i usually do i wrap it up with clean film first and then i get a permanent marker to write down what what food it is it just makes it so much easier before i just used to put it in the freezer like that but because i'm training my 80 year old daughter to go in the freezer and get meals out herself so i started labeling them and writing um what's in it instead and it's worked out really really great because she can just go in the freezer and then choose the meal that she wants i usually put the food in this little packet as well but the reason why i don't do this often is because i find that it's really expensive so i just prefer to use the takeaway bowls because i recycle them i just wash them again and just recycle them so yes yeah, sisters that's it this is my meal prepping i really really hope that i can you know inspire somebody like i know you just saw bread what, fatima why are you putting bread in the freezer my dear if you can't put it in the freezer put it in the freezer and it works out fine so what i use that bread for <laughs> is usually like um garlic bread so it works perfectly alhamdulillah so this is how my freezer looks to be honest with you this is how my freezer looks yesterday because when i filmed when i finished cooking i did do the video like i filmed everything however i lost the footage so i had to just basically show you how the this look now you know like literally yesterday but um my my nieces were over i had like literally 10 children in my house and i did not worry i did not worry why because my freezer was packed with food alhamdulillah like when you have that many children in the house you have to make sure you have a lot of food alhamdulillah and the thing is they came randomly it's not like i was really planning for them they came after my meal prepping and when everybody wanted to come to my house i'm like okay no problem everybody come everybody come so yes sisters please meal prep as much as you can you know start slowly like i'm not saying do what i do like what i do is a little bit extreme yes but because i love it so much like i don't see no difficulty in it at all so start small even if you're you have to meal prep just for three days or something like that and just work your way up and yes you may need to invest in a deep freezer that's the other thing that i didn't really talk about but you may need to because i do have a freezer in the in the kitchen as well however it's quite small so it's like basically the fridge freezer so obviously the fridge and then the freezer so it's quite small so i do store some food in there as well but it's just not enough so if you're going to be meal prepping and you're going to be prepping just for the week that's going to be perfect however if you want to meal prep for like a maximum of a month you may need to get something small or something like that and i think it's a great investment if you have the space in your house just get 
get a freezer, sis. Get a freezer, you know? And um, if you don't, make space. I don't have the space. I promise you, sisters, I do not have the space. But I had to make space because I know how much time this saves me. Like, literally, sisters, it's just me and my children. So I'm raising my kids alone. So I don't want to spend ages in the kitchen making food for the kids or I don't want to give my children junk food because I could. I could just easily just buy ready-made meals and just give it to them, you know, but I don't want to. I want my children to experience, you know, eating home-cooked food at home. And I also want to be, you know, doing my own thing. So I don't want to spend time in the kitchen. So you can make space in your house if you don't have space already. However, if you're like lady aesthetic, my house has to be a certain way. I can't have this look at then sorry yeah I guess this is not for you but me I'm not concerned about aesthetics at all and there you have it sisters over 150 meals to be precise 157 meals prepared and ready to go just imagine the time and energy you can save by taking a little time to meal prep whether you are married whether you're single mom or someone who is just busy overall, you can make your life easier by just taking time to meal prep. It's literally a life changer. It's changed my life and I am so obsessed with meal prepping now. If you found this video useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your sisters and your friends who you think might benefit, inshallah. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel where I'm going to share with you guys everything I've learned so far and things that just make my my life so much easier and you know just to thrive as a person overall but anyways thank you so much for watching this video I am so appreciative of you guys being here if you stuck through this video just listening to my voice thank you so much and inshallah I will see you in my next video bye assalamu alaikum